Welcome back everyone, it's FNUS57 here. I'm back on Gears of War 4, this time bringing you another opening video. So we just got the Rise of the Horde DLC, which brought out uh, three new skill cards per class and additional difficulty and additional levels to skill cards. So here we go again, need more skill cards. This is going to be like the fourth or fifth time that I've actually opened a set of horde booster packs and I will be opening 50 of them. What I am hoping to achieve is trying to get some of the new skills and we'll go from there. Uh, all cards are good. All cards are very good right now because to get a level 6 skill card you actually need 20 copies of that card. And I got an epic in my second box. Eh, Alright. Rage. It's not bad not great um it's a pretty good card but it depends upon the difficulty that you're playing on right now i'm looking for the new cards there's one of the new cards look at that shit all right speed loader for the scout not sure how good it's gonna be because uh, i have to test it but roadie running grants ammo it grants active reload ammo interesting i like it that's going to be a new card for me to play around with. So basically you could like run out, pick up the power, and come back and you'd have active reloaded ammo. I could see where that could help. Uh, the rest of these green cards I don't really care too much about. I'm just saving them. I'm not scrapping them because you need 20 copies, like I said, to have rank 6 skills. There's one that I need though, deposit bonus. That's excellent. There's still basically certain cards that uh, your class should always use. There we go. Oh. Helmetless V-Day gear. Huh. Alright, well I got an epic skill. That's pretty cool. It's not for um, Horde, so it's not a skill card technically. It's a customization card, but it's still an epic. All greens. Who knows, maybe this time I will actually have uh, a legendary in one of these packs. If I get that, that's worth a lot of scrap. Overdrive Ember. Hmm, haven't had that one yet. So basically, I'm just building up the skill cards, looking for level 6 skills. Got another epic. Pistol Expert. That's actually a really good one for the Heavy. The Heavy got some really cool cards. I want to get the one that gives them a damage bonus as their health diminishes. That would probably be my favorite. Sniper Rifle Ammo Capacity and Headshot Damage. Those are both good cards. I'll be trying to get those to level 6. And I got a legendary! Holy shit! I didn't actually think it was possible. I got the corpse, gear corpse, so the zombie cog, basically. Um, that's pretty cool. If you weren't going to use it, at least it's a legendary, which is a shit ton of scrap that you could get. I like that. That's my first time ever pulling a legendary from one of these packs. Actually, from any pack. Alright, nothing really good there. Active reload bonus, but I'm not sure how good that's going to be with the inconceivable difficulty. Another epic. Steady handed. That's a new skill I have to test for the sniper. Might be good. It's plus 25% damage reduction and plus 40% camera shake reduction. So I think that's just in general. I don't think you actually have to be scoped in. Which, if that's the case, that would be pretty awesome. It would make it easier to get headshots. And that's what the sniper's all about, is getting headshots. Oh, well, turret cost. That's a decent card for the engineer. And just all greens. Icky, icky. I really don't like the bounties right now. The bounties are okay. But I don't need them, so that's why I don't like them. Cloak, that's a new one for the scout. 
I'm not sure how much I like that skill because you cloak after sitting for four and a half seconds in cover. Now, how long that cloak lasts for is what I want to know. Uh, but they don't tell you, so I'm going to have to test that one out. Looks pretty good, though. Looks very interesting. It could be something that you'd use for Inconceivable where you cloak and then run out and pick up all the power, if the cloak lasts for a decent amount of time, that is. And another legendary? Okay, not good at all. Day of the Dead Boltok. That is definitely going to get scrapped, but I can't believe it. That's two legendaries in 19 packs. That's crazy. All right. Power pickup distance. That's a very good card for the skill or for uh, the scout. It's almost 100% needed for the scout. Mark boost and marked damage. Mark boost, not that good. Mark damage, necessity for the heavy. And another epic. Color blast swarm hunter. Well, I don't have that one yet. So, interesting. But probably going to scrap it. I'm not really interested in the cosmetic skins as much at this time as I'm interested in maxing out my horde skills again. Double shotgun damage, I'll take it. The pink tiger lancer, that's going to get scrapped. And century kills have a chance to drop ammo. Hmm. Interesting. Now I wonder if they mean ammo for the sentry gun or ammo for the player. That's another new one. I'm going to have to test it and find out. It could make running one engineer with all sentry cards very viable if it drops ammo for the sentry gun. Explosive launcher damage times two. That was a pretty nice pack for the heavy. Nothing else in that pack that's worth mentioning. I'm just stoked that I got the new skills and I've gotten a couple legendaries. I'm wondering if uh, I'll get a third legendary. It would be really cool if I do, but I know how this game is. They don't like to give you the cards that uh, you want. It's always the card that you want that's the hardest one to get. Turret health. Turret health isn't a bad card. Might be good on uh, Inconceivable. Double shotgun damage. Nice. That shotgun damage might be my first card that I get to level 6. Which, that's a super easy achievement to get. Well, not bad. Green tribal long shot. That kind of looks cool. I might actually keep that one. And double headshot damage. That's an excellent card for snipers. Two blues. Okay. Assault Rifle Magazine Capacity, that's not bad for the soldier, but right now, even with the DLC, you can still only use five skill cards. They need to increase the number of skill cards that you can use so you can have more combinations and stuff. And I hate packs like this. This is the worst pack when you get a skin and you get a bounty because they're basically both salvage. Uh, now, this bounty is worth credits, so I might actually keep it, but it's also only worth 1,200 credits for Inconceivable, which is a fair deal more difficult than Insane. And an Epic Overclock, all right, that's a new one for the Engineer, but I don't really like it because it's 25% ammo replenish rate for the Weapon Locker. That's a meh card. 
I don't really use weapon lockers. Only heavies use weapon lockers. And they don't use them that often, really. One or two for the entire game. Another epic. And it's Color Blast. Ew. Yay, salvage. Ew. That is a disgusting looking color, though. Another epic. Hey, there we go. I got E. Day Hoffman. That's one I actually wanted. Pretty cool character to play as. I really want to see the new heavy skill, though. The Berserker. I really want that one. And not in this pack. Alright, I have 13 packs to go. Nope, not in that pack. The execution bonus is pretty nice. If you're playing on a lower difficulty, it's super easy to get executions. So that gives you a lot of additional power. Last 10 packs. Come on! Triple blue? Ew, disgusting, bad pack. Uh, the bounty I'll keep, the skin is getting trashed, though, and the carry more grenade skill is not really that useful. Because even with the grenade damage increase, grenades are kind of meh, especially on insane difficulty. Barrier cost, that's nice. Actually, that was four cards that are good. Barrier cost times two shotgun damage. I'll take that. An epic. What's it going to be? Oh, it's the Hypno Lancer. That one doesn't even look that good. Okay, that's going to be uh, scrap. At the very least, you get a lot of scrap out of this. All right, some good cards there. Brawler, mark damage, barrier cost. Those are all good cards. If you guys missed my achievement guide, I just put up an achievement guide on how to get the Master Craftsman and Crafty achievements. It's super easy to do that. I think you guys might like it. Alright, I got Team Revive. That's going to be a good skill, almost a needed skill for Iron Man difficulty. So I want to get that one to level 6. Nothing really super great in that pack. Come on, legendary or new epic skill. Come on, show me the money. I got century cost. That's a good one. And I got the static Boltok. I wonder if that's an animated camo. If that's actually an animated camo, I might keep it. Looks pretty cool. Okay, marginal benefit. Turret health, radar ping, pickup distance. Those are all good. The grenade plant, not so much. Eh, you pack, because I got two wasted cards, basically. Crappy bounty, crappy skin. Last two packs. Let's go. Show me the money. And I got last stand. Alright, green tribal snub, that's getting scrapped. Beat waves 1 to 20 on normal, that's getting scrapped. Double brawler, and then this is one of the new skills for the heavy. I don't know how much I like it, but potentially it could be pretty good because it's up to 25% damage reduction as your health diminishes. This means that if your heavy's on a turret, or your heavy is using a heavy weapon, especially in a boss fight, they're going to be able to stay in the fight longer without going down. So that's a pretty cool card. I really want the one that goes with it, which is a damage increase as your health goes down. This is my final pack. And not that great. Fortification health, decoy health, and mark damage. Okay, so my packs were meh, not that great. Now, I did participate in the previous horde challenge that they had, and for participating in that you earned one horde booster pack that was a expert pack so as a bonus i'm gonna go ahead and open that for you now this is a 10 card pack with a guarantee 
guaranteed epic. So this is a bonus. It was 50 packs plus the Horde Expert pack. Bam! Look at all them cards. And bonus card. Uh, 1 to 50 as a heavy. Meh. All right, let's take a look. What do we got? Green, green, blue, green, 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 blue. Uh, one epic. All right, let's see. Cover boost. Good. Assault rifle damage. Good. A new skill, assault rifle accuracy. Meh. Uh, grenade plant. Meh. Turret health. That's a good one. Uh, sentry kills have a chance to drop ammo. Could be good or bad. Fortification health. That's a good one. Speed boost. Meh. There we go. I got it. I finally got it, guys. Hell yeah. Berserker. Only took the special pack to get it. Plus 45% damage as your health diminishes. That's the one that I wanted for the heavy. And then last card is decoy health. So that was a pretty cool pack. Um, definitely a pretty cool pack. I also got a bonus pack called Rise of the Horde, which this one was for completing that whole you know challenge thing uh, basically you had to do like a, a crap ton of horde waves and it gave me two cards that i don't like uh it gave me siphon planted grenade kills drop five percent more power this could be very useful on lower difficulty for the soldier but i don't think it's going to be very useful in the higher difficulties i also got the last stand damage taken is reduced as your health diminishes that's pretty cool and i got uh salvage and assault rifle accuracy so overall that was a pretty good pack i'm very glad that uh i got those packs by participating in the horde challenge so that was very very cool uh for gears now let me just take a quick look at my skills and see if i got anything um, I do have a couple cards, like, uh, let's see, if I craft this and I upgrade it to level 2, what does it do? 40% accuracy per second. Interesting. I wonder what that caps out at, um, as you upgrade the card. Carry speed. Carry speed is meh. It's unimportant, but... You might as well go ahead and level it up. That's 50% faster for a level 5 skill. Um, I got the assault rifle magazine capacity, as you've seen. And I can upgrade that to level 4, which is 85% magazine capacity. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm just checking my cards because, you know, like a kid in a candy store right now. Let's see what uh, Planted Grenades upgraded to level 2 does. 8% more power. Yeah, this could be a very good farming card when uh, you're playing on a lower difficulty. If you have your soldier just planting grenades with Siphon. And, uh... Oh, I wanted Resupply. Resupply is the other one that's really cool because you get one grenade every 45 seconds. So if you run Resupply with, uh... If you ran all grenades, basically, grenade capacity, grenade damage, grenade plants, resupply, and siphon, if you ran those four cards, you could just generate a shit ton of power off of your grenades. Uh, what did I get for the sniper? Anything good? Uh, not enough to make a rank 6 skill, sadly. It takes a lot of cards to make a rank 6 skill. Nothing for the engineer. But I do have this salvage thing. Let me see if it tells me any more when I upgrade it. Uh, Sentry kills have a 12% chance to drop ammo. Well, that doesn't really tell you much. I'm assuming it's drop ammo for uh, players, not for the sentries, because that would just be overpowered if that was the case. Let's see what Last Stand does upgraded to level 2. It goes up to a 35% damage reduction as your health diminishes. That's sweet. I like that. And then I just have the one Berserker card that I got. Cloak. Um, four seconds in cover. Hmm. Interesting. Being in cover for several seconds will cloak you from enemies. Leaving cover... 
or shooting will remove the cloak. Okay, so that's not that great, actually, because you couldn't cloak and then run out and pick up the power. It's just if you get behind cover when you're picking up the power, then you'd cloak and enemies wouldn't aggro on you. Cool, but minimal benefit, because it doesn't say what the damage boost is when you're attacking from cover. So minimal benefit on that from the scout. And sadly, I don't have any cards. I don't have enough of any cards at all uh, to actually level up to six because getting 20 of the same type of card is a little bit crazy. As you can see, I'm pretty close on the engineer. I'm pretty close on barrier cost. I'm pretty close on barrier health, 11 out of 20. But that was after 50 horde packs. So there's definitely a lot of cards that you can get, and this is going to take a little bit of time to get these skills maxed out to level 6. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay frosty.